Good morning, neighbors. We're going to sing a famous song by Andre Crouch, but I keep messing it up. So we'll see how this goes. The blood that Jesus shed for me way back at Calvary it's the blood that gives me strength from day to day it will I decided I wanted to, I wasn't sure who wrote this song, how old it was, but it's Andre Crouch and uh, him and his twin sister Sandra were born in Los Angeles, California into a dedicated Christian home. Years later, Andre related the following to the writer of, who, who wrote this. One day, the call came to my father, Ben Crouch, to speak for a small congregation about 60 miles from Los Angeles. They had urged him to preach on an interim basis until they could secure a pastor. During that first service, my dad called me up from the audience and asked, Andre, if God gave you music, would you use it for his glory in your life? I wouldn't have been more shocked if he had asked, would you like to be an astronaut? Three weeks later, during a service in that little church, as we were about to sing What a Friend We Have in Jesus, my dad called out to me, Andre, come up here. He motioned to an upright piano nearby and said, Okay, if you're going to play, play. I said to myself, What? When the congregation began to sing, I found the right key and began to play with both hands. About two weeks later, my father gave up his business, and that was the beginning of the ministry of our entire family. So this man who wrote this, I said, I asked Crouch to give me the story behind his song, The Blood Will Never Lose Its Power. Following is his incredible story. I was only 14 years of age, three years following my initiation to the piano, and had been invited to a friend's home. It was Memorial Day, and there was to be a party with most of the guests being choir members. When I arrived, the people were in the backyard barbecuing and generally having a good time. I was so shy and little, I didn't want to go out there. I then said to the Lord, God, I really love you. I would love to write songs for you. 
If you would give me a song, I will live for you forever. There was a large piano in the living room and I began to play. Suddenly in my mind's eye, I could see Jesus carrying his cross up to Calvary and I said, Oh, the blood! And I began to sing, The blood that Jesus shed for me. The people in the backyard heard me singing and came into the house. They began to weep as they came and joined my song. That was the writing of my first fall, my first song, The Blood Will Never Lose Its Power. And you think, you know, he's just a young boy, 14 years of old, 14 years of age, and uh, how the Lord used it. But it took, you know, you have to ask yourself, am I willing? Like you said, he could have, when his dad said, if you're going to play the piano, come up and play. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm too scared. We let fear run our lives, as we've said before. But he forced himself, and then God blessed it. Then three years later, you know, it's just a simple heart saying, Lord, I really love you. If you could just give me a song, I would love to hear it, sing a song for you, to write a song for you. And he, and the Lord gave him this song, just an, an instant inspiration that's carried on to, uh, uh, it's like 70, close to 70 years old now, I think that song is. So the Lord is good. And in First Peter chapter 1 and verse 18, For as much as ye know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold, from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without spot and without blemish. You know, I like this because you are not redeemed with corruptible things. It's the blood that will not lose its power. Everything else, <laughs> the best things we got will run out of batteries or need solar power and the sunlight needs and relies on things. Yeah, but the blood relies only on what he's done. And he did. And it's, it's never lost its power. It's never going to run out of its power. You know, but you are not redeemed with corruptible things, things like silver and gold or from your vain conversation that's received by tradition from your fathers. You know, there's people thinking, well, if I read this prayer or if this happens and that happens, I memorize this. No, it's only for the precious blood of Christ as, a, as of a lamb without spot and without blemish. That is what will keep you going. It's like you'll be like the Energizer Bunny. You just keep going and going and going and going. So the Lord bless you and have a good day today. Live underneath the blood. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.